This video shows how to diagnose some of the pin issues with USB JTAG NT and USB BDM NT and ULink NT. When pin 11 of USB JTAG NT is damaged, you can still do MIPS JTAG, but you are not able to do SPI flash. Lower left is pin 1. You need to connect pin 11 and pin 13. In the configuration, you need to select this target, which has the, its own protocol called Hardware Diag. And once you select here, the connection of USB JTAG NT is pin 11 and pin 13. So when I connect properly and I can click the detect, so this is a good JTAG, okay? So I unplug the cable, assume there is a breakage of the, the pins are burned. So now you click, it says say pin 11 or pin 13 is bad. So when one of the pins is bad, you cannot do SPI flash or you cannot do like EE square. On USB BDM and T, you cannot get the BDM on no matter what it did. Then the possible reason is reset pin or freeze pin is bad. Lower left is pin one. You need to connect pin six and pin seven. This is the BDM connected, and I have the pin 6 and 7 connected. So the, a good BDM was something like this, and if I, if there is a damage of the one of the pin, when you detect, it will say reset or freeze pin is bad. Ulink NT can diag each pins and report back if all pins are good. You need to connect pin 10 to pin 8, pin 6 to pin 4, pin 3 to pin 5, and pin 7 to pin 9. This is a U-Link with four wires connected, and if I detect, it will say all pins are okay. If I have one pin is bad, something like this, I unplug one, and you will say, you know, some pins are bad, and we will give you this data. You know, if you give me, pass me the data, I will tell me possible which pin is bad. So all the pins is good, they will, will give you print out, say all pins are good, and click connecting. And this is what it says.